Um, next is from um, Ryan Evans, the subject is question. Hey, guys, Federer's last fight happened this past weekend. My question to you guys, do you think Federer's legacy is tarnished at all for never going to the UFC? Or do you think his history and domination pride beating the best heavyweights in their prime overshadows never going there? Thanks, and that's a Ryan. I, I absolutely agree with that. I think Fetter not going to – bro, the UFC has proven that they are a better product and have better fighters than any other organization. They get the best fighters. They got a guy like Michael Chandler from, from Bellator who was killing it there. They brought him here, and he's like – what is he, one and two, two, two and two in his fight? You know, he's – you know, he's, he's an average fighter in the, in the UFC, but like, bro, Fetter not coming over and fighting the best heavyweights, I actually, I do think that you can't look at him as the GOAT. And you can't. You can't. He didn't fight the best competition. What do you think about that? Well, he fought very good competition. In he pride. did, but not the best. Yeah, well, they were among so, the best. Okay, do you think he's the GOAT, yes or no? No, because he's been beaten, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Seven he's, times he's, now. In the last part of his career, he actually got buried twice by Ryan. Ryan Bader pummeled him right. in two straight But a young ago, Fedor, yeah. that's, that that's one a hard fight beat. Where Andre that. Orlovsky went to like do a running knee on him, and he, yeah. in midair, he punched him right in the shot and knocked him out. That was, that's still to me the bit. Joe, try to find that. Fetter knocks out Orlovsky. <clears throat> that's a great spot. He like the guy jumped in the air and he he tacked like perfect precision. He hit him right in the jaw and like knocked knocked him out in midair. That was hysterical. Uh, next one's from Randall Vasquez. Um, subject is slap fights. Hey guys, I'm sure you've seen clips of slap fights. They're now airing with a after AW. This looks like a disaster waiting to happen. These slaps look more like palm strikes in the temple. Since the impact comes with zero defense, and one can't help but wonder is a fatal slap is a high probability. I was a Dana White is a promoter of this freak show. What are, what are your opinions on slap fighting? Thanks for all the great contents of Randy Vasquez, uh, um, Patreon contributor and roundtable uh, contributor in the past. Yes, I think I think I, think flat, I, I can't watch this. It's, I would it be is willing. Stupid. It's very barbaric. It's almost like yeah. remember in the beginning years of UFC how barbaric it was. Right. That's how it is. And bro, I'm willing to bet that more than half of the people that are getting their bell rung are concussed. There's no way you can tell, bro. Some of some of these guys are like 300 pounds and just they look like you know they're strong, and they're just unprotected shot to the side of the head. One guy they're, got disfigured. Mm. Imagine Did you that. See that. No, I'm like it's stupid. I'm like, well, bro, with what we know about. I wonder CTE, how many guys' eardrums have been busted. Yeah, or, yeah. it just I mean, seems like it's you very know, savage. Obviously, That's, you got to be a, a tough. To do it, but it just well, no, it's, it's like thing, sk skillless, thing, bro, you know. The, the thing is, is that well, there's some skill to it. The thing is, is that at the end of the day, everything that we know now about concussions and brain damage and CT, why would you do this, bro? This show You're is just looking to get sued by one of these guys in the future. It's literally 25 years too late. Like, this would have been great right. TV in back the in the Adjured era before, right. like, oh, you know, with Jerry Springer. Like, yeah, awesome. everything was crazy. But, like, now we know it's like. It's like Dana White is like, are, how bar, like how right. backwards are you, dude? It's right. like you, know, you want to take you know, something right? out of it. That's right. almost like trying to bring back bra and panty matches right, right. now. There's, yeah, exactly. Bro, there's right. no way this cli in this climate they're going to accept it. Right. I can't believe you got this on the f***ing air. Yeah, it's a sh especially at Time Warner Discovery, which is kind of like right. a woke, like, you know, like this, this crazy, Maybe right? gave him a really yeah. big cut. You know, yeah, he probably maybe. says, you know what? I'll give you a bigger cut than usual. We'll put it on there. Trust me. I came up with UFC. I came up with the contender. I came up with this. You know, all it takes is to convince these guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, they did, um, recently they did a 1.3 rating up from a 1.0. So, you know. Well, what was the rating? Uh, week three, they did 901,000. Did they really? Yeah. Uh, week so one. It's, Wait, it's, how much? It's, it's only an eight, eight, it's only okay. an eight episode run. I didn't know that. Let me but, ask, let me ask you a question. Yeah. What did they do that uh, compared to AEW that night? Uh, last week, uh, AEW had what, like nine hundred seventy thousand. So they beat right. them by a little. Yeah. When I, the AEW beat them. Yeah. But they, but they're doing competitive numbers with AEW. That that show. Um. So next is from uh, Missy Hyatt Surgeon. Oh, by the way, 
This guy Matthew Robles is a he does a, he's a manager gimmick. He was in town. He's he's getting married to Missy Hyatt, and they were both in town this week, and they came to the club. So, oh wow, Matthew yeah. Robles! I didn't know. Yeah, that. Okay. yeah. Ooh. Wait, wait, say that Matt, again. Yeah, man, you don't know Matt, Matthew Robles. Do you know Matthew? No, who he, he is, he's an indie guy. He's a man. Yeah, he's a manager. He's a cool, cool guy. I, I like. Bit. But he's I think he, him and Missy Hyde are getting married. But they were both in town. Missy and they Hyatt. Came, yeah, Missy mm -hmm. Hyatt. How yeah. old is the guy? My age, probably. Okay. You know, uh, but they were came. Uh, they came to the club and said hi. Like sat with them for a while and like talked to them. They're cool. I've seen Next. Matt do stuff in Philly. I think he. Oh, by the way, who like guess Utah. who else was in the club this week? Who's that? Scott D. Moore on Saturday night. Oh, How that's right. That? That's yeah. Right. Or was Friday he a night. good customer? Yeah, he was. I got all him right. hooked up. Some drinks. Got him with the ride and everything. All, all that. I got him hooked up. He was a SoCal Val and three other. He was a, him and four girls. It's like a pimp. Yeah. Um, uh, hey, I wanted to say I, I I blew that before the power slap ratings. I was reading AEW. AEW did nine hundred and one thousand. Power slap. Uh, only did two hundred eighty four thousand okay. this week. Wow, okay, yeah, that makes more. So yeah. the week yeah. before that was four thirteen, and the debut week was two ninety five. What's so deal? imagine, so imagine if you're that content creator and you're looking at wrestling doing nine hundred thousand, Glenn, and right. the power slap doing two hundred. Those mm -hmm. are good numbers to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. let, let me. I just want to tell you something. I was looking at at Fedor Emerlenko's. Um, I know this was a letter ago or two. Mm -hmm. His um. Listen to all the people that he beat. He beat, um, where are we? R Renato so Sobral. He beat, um, yeah, well, I know who he is. <laughs> he tearing Antonio. Ooh. Oh, I know. Come he's on. He's, yeah. he's, he's far, right. Yeah. yeah. Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. Okay. I know that maybe you don't know him, but he's yeah. from. Uh, he, he uh, took these, beat these guys after their prime when they were in UFC, and then they were like they were washed going 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 back to no, the, the bro, other. No, no, this was early in his young. Early oh, this earlier. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, show this clip. Show this clip, Joe. Wait, okay, let me just say. Oh well, yeah, go through the names. Yeah. Fujita, mm -hmm. Gary Goodridge, Yuji Nagata. Remember Nagata? Oh, mm -hmm. he fought Yuji Nagata. Yeah, I beat um, Yuji Nagata. Uh, <laughs> Mark Coleman, Kevin Randall. I want you to wait. Time out. I want right. you to put that in perspective. Right. You're you're talking about he beat Yuji Nagata. I beat New Yuji Nagata. <laughs> All right, that's a great okay, line. So, but, you know, see, like, I, that, I don't I don't think you should bring up Yuji Nagata as like mm. on his list of impressive victories. You know, if, if I if I beat Yuji Nagata. Well, you know, he had an incredible amateur career. No, he, right? he was a great yeah. fighter, but right. but he never he beat like, Coleman, these, box, Coleman like twice. these boxers that never fight the best competition. Okay, so like, anyway. Go ahead. Uh, he fought Noguera again, beat him. Uh, this guy, who to me is one of my favorite fighters of all times, Merkel Krokop. Uh, yeah, right? nice okay, that, yeah. Mark Coleman, Mark Hunt, Hungman Choi, which I don't know if you remember, him, but I think he was it's a giant speech. seven foot Korean. Yeah, that was yeah. kind of a freak fight. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Sylvia, Andre Arlovsky. Uh So you know he fought a lot of good people. So next is from Missy. Okay, Missy High Surgeon. Subject is mail question, mail mailbag question, hip hop click. Yo, K Dog, what to do, fellas? Just curious, Conan. What was it like hanging with B Real, Mellow Man, Master P, and the rest of the hip hop click back in WCW? Any wild stories, brother? I never hung out with um, Mellow Man, which um, he might be B Real's brother, I think. But, anyways, um, I only hung out once with B Real, and we just got high at that Rainbow Club where X Pac was at. And this was like. When like marijuana cards were out, but I didn't really know about it, and so they just like, you know, on the outside patio where all the people, you know, are walking by because it's a very heavily traveled area, right? Disco. Yeah, yeah. It's so there's a lot of people and there's cops near there, and they just dumped all the weed on the table, and I was like, bro, the cops are right there, and he goes, oh no, we have marijuana cards. What the f is that? <laughs> you know, but um, uh. I only hung right. out with Be Real once, and with Master P, I never really hung out. We just hung out at the show. I, I, I will say this. He had incredible – do you remember his bodyguards? Yeah, they were big. Big guys. Yeah. Did okay, you ever meet uh, Method Man, Conan? Yeah. What, what, what was the circumstances, just hanging out? In Miami, me and Ray were walking down the thing, and he stopped us. And he was like, oh, Conan, Ray Mysterio, what's up? And we were like, hey, what's up? Oh, we were yeah. so – we thought he was Red Man. 
I don't believe that. Like you, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and, let me make, well, gonna, he's a huge wrestling fan and super I, cool dude. I try to get him like as a for the show. Like every now and then, I'll think of it. Like I know he loves wrestling, but it's hard to get those in touch with those guys. You know. All right, let me make a point here too. M- Missy Hyatt Surgeon. Okay, this you sent this email on Thursday, February second. Okay, so we're reading it on this week's show. You also sent one last Wednesday or d- d- Wednesday before that. We read the mail back on Monday and Tuesday. So you need to get your things in before Mon- preferably before before Monday, okay? And on Wednesday of two weeks ago, you wrote an email that said, Hello, amigos. Big fan of the show, especially Crazy Eddie. I want to ask, boys, if any of you had any dealings with Big Daddy V before he passed. I heard good and bad about him, so I was just curious. Gracias, amigos. Dios te bendiga. Um, and then he... He the next week he he wrote back and said, "Yo guys, did you get me? Yeah, like, he like, did you know, okay, bro. Okay, so we're telling you right now, you need to get your mail in before Monday. All right, and you're suspended because I just read two of your emails. Okay, so you're suspended. 